welcome to the testing academy my name is pramod and today's topic is all about how to handle rates how to extract the values assertions and couple of navigation command that you should know these are very very important playwright core concepts so pay attention let's get started and if you are new to the channel make sure you subscribe and like let me make myself little smaller cool so the agenda for this video is basically extract, extracting the value from the elements which is really really important assertion how you can add your own assertion uh, in the playwright java especially navigation commands and couple of uh, weights and timeouts that we should know okay so let's learn uh, the first one is assertion i think assertion that you guys have already seen right uh, most of the assertion you can leverage the test ng assertion by default if you are comfortable with junit assertion also you can directly used in the program of playwright right uh, Playwright basically provides you a few more assertions. Like you, if you want to fetch the data, for example, text content. Right. Uh, similarly, in the Selenium, we have uh, to get text method. Right. We have here we have text content. So by text content and the CSS selector, you can get the value. Okay. So that's uh, the easiest way. Uh, the second one is like page dot inner text and you will find where if you want to get the inner text of a particular class for example there is a div class and there is a inner text that you want to fetch it right you can do that similarly you can get the attribute also so there are cup there are lots of different functions which are available in the playwright i will not go through them but i'll give you an example cup for couple of them to fetch any kind of a details okay from this you can get the attribute so if you are able to get the attribute now i think most of the selectors or getting the assertion is really really easy so we have a text content we have a get attribute we have a inner text which are three are really really important okay awesome uh so see this and there are couple of things that you can also do uh here you will see another function which is called as page dot evaluate evaluate basically says that uh, you can run any kind of a javascript function on the page right now if you see we are running a uh, this uh, square bracket and window dot local storage get admi is basically a anonymous function which will basically automatically run and it will basically fetch you a local storage item if there is a local storage item with the id user id it will give you the details in this object okay i know it's a little advanced but we'll see the demo also in this case here if you see page dot locator dot input value we can get the input value right if you want any locators and if you want to evaluate further you can use the page dot locator dot evaluate these are like little advanced and if you if you want to count the total number of allies and uis element you can do use the count method so there are couple of Uh, i mean there are lots of lots of different useful uh, functions already created in playwright that you can leverage and use them okay and we will use couple of them in the demo so assertion i have told you like uh, you can check element is checked is disabled editable is enabled is hidden is visible they are very 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 similar to the selenium that you have seen okay that you can use okay uh, so assertion i have told you uh, directly Uh, you can use the near test ng assertions you can find more at this uh, lambda test uh, where they have mentioned about the different different assertion that you can use in uh, in with the test ng right we have assert equal that we are using uh, in the part 2 and part 3 we have assert equal with no order assert true method not null and lots of them now uh, let's do one thing let's uh, so we had this demo right uh let's do one thing in the day 3 we had automated a vw a login page now suppose uh, it so let me delete this uh, this is a test script basically created by test gen automatically and i'll copy paste this one now suppose i want to fetch the uh, i want to fetch the uh, this page heading how do i do that okay and uh, before taking the screenshot i want to fetch this page heading so how i can do that uh if you see i have basically give you new there is a method called as text content and that takes the css selector right so we can do is okay string heading and i can get it from the text content right see it's basically asking you to give the selector right and i am basically telling okay this is the selector that i want to use and here we go now in the heading part i will but let's do one thing instead instead of assertion let's uh, print out if let's see if we can print print something there's no function of print right <laughs> okay system dot uh, dot print ln and 
पेज हेडिंग इस ओके एंड वी विल एंड दिस प्लस ओके लेट्स रन इट लेट्स रन द डे फाइव हाउ डू यू रन इट राइट क्लिक रन डे फाइव ओके एंड लेट्स सी द मैजिक इफ वी आर एबल टू फेच द इंफॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम द टेक्स कंटेंट और नॉट ओके सो लेट्स रन इट एंड लेट्स क्विकली सी द डेमो ओके कूल एंड हेयर वी हैव क्रोमियम क्रोम लॉन्चिंग इट स्टार्ट 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 राइट सो लॉडिंग एडिंग यूजर नेम एडिंग पासवर्ड राइट एंड साइन इन राइट एंड वी आर बेसिकली वेटिंग फॉर द हैड टू लॉड एंड सक्सेसफुल एवरीथिंग वर्क्स फाइन राइट टेस्ट ओके सो हेयर इज द डे we have a pay assertion already available i mean the data is all right we are able to fetch the data which is dashboard now what i can do is instead of title uh page dot title i will just say that it should match with the heading right It's similar assertion i can add right so that you can give it a try that's what the demo is basically about so you can use assertion home is equal to here similarly if you want to fetch the inner text inner text basically means uh here right click the page i want to fetch this information like in this span there is a lots of different information right i can get the inner text so this is the data qa part so let's do one thing uh let's get the data i'll duplicate it and here i'm i'll just say span inner text okay and i need to give the selector right so how do you get the selector you will basically use this and here okay so uh, i know it's little confusing for all of you but it's basically a custom data qa that we have added uh, as a key and the value you can use a square brackets if you know they are unique in nature if they are unique for example data qa is equal to this is unique everywhere in the page you with, with the square bracket you will able to fetch it i'll show you how okay even if you want to give it a try here control f here see you are able to find that span right in the uh, chrome dev tools you can give it a try also so we are able to get this data and let's instead of page header let's print this also right and uh, let's rerun okay so it's loading we are basically entering the username password and we'll try to fetch the data of header inner text also again let's see if it is working fine or not here we go okay and here we have the inner text also available cool so similarly you can give it a try and you can uh, basically get the attribute value also for example if you want to get the input alt attribute value okay and here is a demo they have already shared with you let me open this to get the attribute value right so you can get input alt for example text is equal to alt you can get the value also right uh, in the input i want the value of alt it basically says okay that you can get it you can basically check with the uh, check boxes right and you can evaluate the uh, js expressions also uh, js expression basically means evaluate on selector uh, you can basically if you want to uh, here there are couple of advanced things uh, which are basically not supported properly in this linium that you can do uh, here is basically eval on selectors you can use evaluation function on the selector also for example i am doing a page dot eval on the search id i want to get the value basically this is actually a javascript function if you know right i want to get the value you can directly get it by page dot get attribute also you can get it by uh, page dot locator dot get attribute also so there are different methods and this function basically can give you the value which is basically this javascript element dot value it will give you the href value it will give you outer element plus uh, suffix and you can basically modify this also so you, now you see the power of the play right now right you can basically customized javascript function whatever they are running with the elementor you can fetch the information so it's really really awesome to awesome right that's what i really wanted to tell you that uh, the power of uh, play right okay so there are a couple of things text content we have learned attribute we have learned check box and inner html visibility and all the things these are you can do these are like custom uh, js assertions that you can do uh, for example this thing 
is basically will fetch you the local storage what is this local storage promote let me show you this local storage for example this for this page if you go to the uh, application go to the local storage here right and you will see there's a local state local data available see there's an inter intercom and uh, there's a root uh, root data is also available right this is the key and this is the value for example if you want to fetch this value you can use this key instead of user id here here you will see uh, not this one not this slide yeah instead of user id where it is yeah instead of window dot located get a user id you can use this for this one this id intercom dot interstate and it will give you this id this data in the local storage okay so, okay, so you are evaluating what you are doing is you are basically evaluating a javascript function here cool this one actually works uh even if in the console also right now we don't have any user id but if suppose i want to fetch this so similar thing you can do uh, let's try let's give it a try right and this is the data which is presented for us okay let me give it a try cool so this data again you can give it a try and you can fetch the user id and other details also which are present here okay with this cool and uh, here you can basically evaluate the function for example in the div you want the font size you can get it uh, so evaluation also works on the element level which is really important sometimes we'd want that okay so that was it uh, that was uh, about the uh, different things like assertion i think uh, i have already told you right uh, similar assertions you can use uh, we have extensively used the assert equals right uh, there are other available for example assert equals we have used where you basically compare a actual string and the expected string and you can add a message uh, there is a there is another one right you can use null uh, not null methods fall false and all these will be we will be using in the future uh, we will basically adding more assertion to our automation framework okay and let's jump to the navigation which is really important and navigation i think we have already told you many times uh, and we were all also following with the navigation right uh, we will use page dot navigate that we have i have shown you earlier right page dot navigate right and it basically takes a url option which is optional right and here you can basically give uh, what you need to do for example navigate and wait until the network is idle right if you want to achieve this where uh, you load a page for example in vw we want to load a load a paid uh, page and we want to wait uh, till the network is idle we can use this method we can basically add this to our options method here here basically we can add this okay and here let's basically import this and you will see what is happening now is uh, we are basically telling the options that until network is idle we are we want to wait set and set wait until we want to do the network idle okay and if you want to basically wait for an element you can use locator dot wait for okay so if you want to wait for an element you can use wait for method and it will basically navigate and wait for that element if you want to navigate to a particular element you want to wait till that you can use uh, by default if you see click automatically auto wait right so click will automatically auto wait so you don't have to add explicitly any kind of a wait in this case right even uh, like fill and the click both of these methods that we have used right they are auto waiting okay and we'll learn the auto wait also in the next slide but you know uh, these function that we are using they are already auto weighted functions okay so you don't have to use it but if you want to custom add you can use wait for load state that we have had used in the first and you can use wait for locator also like wait for here and wait for navigation this is this is for the asynchronous navigation so right now we have seen a uh, the vw app that we were running right where we after clicking we need to wait for a particular thing right so what we can do uh, here if you see uh, i have clicked this js button right uh, but i ideally have to do this basically instead here i need to before this clicking i need to basically do this right so it will basically triggers the navigation after a timeout okay so it will basically what it will do is it will wait for the navigation and then it will basically run this do this 
wait for the navigation right so let's give it a try so i want to click something cool uh, so what we are doing is it will wait for the next navigation that i am talking about okay so after clicking this button it will wait that we want right that we wanted so previous to that if this is not, not the case right what we were doing we were basically after clicking we are basically waiting for the selector right instead of selector since it's a purely a navigation we can do this wait for navigation here uh, let me rerun this again and it, you will see that it will successfully run it will wait for the next navigation because i'm clicking this button right now right this makes sense yeah. okay so this is a very important advanced concept if you want uh, if you are clicking something some after submit button you have to wait till your next page is loaded right you have to use space dot wait for navigation and in that you can use the function which is your click method now you will see that everything works fine but previous to that in the day three what we were using we were using wait for selector and previous to that we were also using something known, known as wait for network idle so those were like fl little flaky and this will work well because this uh, wait is awesome okay and yeah so this was uh, the wait that i have talked about and i think we have already discussed which is uh, wait for the selector you can wait for the selector and you can also give the time also right here you can give the wait options okay and wait options i think they are uh, similar to the page option that we have given right you can select the timeouts out of it okay uh, so you can wait for the pop up also and you can use wait for navigation that i have already discussed uh, right and uh, we will see uh, this is wait for function ready to take a screenshot according to the page itself so it's basically if you want to run a function you can do that we will see the example in the upcoming video okay uh, because in the uh, day six we have this all the function that we are basically learning here all right thanks a lot guys uh, for watching and uh, i'll see you in the day six right then make sure you watch and do the uh, things right okay a uh, couple of things which are remaining uh, that i already told you like click is basically waiting for it wait for load state you can try waits and timeouts uh, this thing i think uh, which are remaining which is wait for the timeout if you want to it's not a good method uh, you can give a 5 millisecond wait it's very similar to thread dot sleep that only we use don't not recommended wait for selector recommended because we are waiting for a selector you can use uh, you can change this at default timeout also by default to 30 second you can change it wait for an event if you want to change it for example i have told you right modern web applications are not are all uh, event based so you can wait based on the event so there's a list of events you can use that and uh, wait for navigation i have explained to you in the demo also right so you can use all these wait in this thanks for watching this video i'll see you in the next video bye thanks a lot